Well, the baby made some headlines because he pretty much outed, uh, uh, you know, made accusations that he had slept with Meg Thee Stallion. Not only was he sleeping with Meg Thee Stallion, but it's, he's saying he actually slept with her the night before Tori allegedly shot her. So that crazy. He came out with a song with that. Um, him and Meg used to be real cool. I had already been kind of suspecting they was messing with each other. They was very flirty. And even though Meg said she don't like short dudes, I mean, you know, a lot of girls say stuff like that. And then, you know, then they'll be around you and everything and they start liking you. So they, they already had kind of like a flirtatious relationship that I could have, you know, I could have took it the way that they just act like that for the cameras or they really doing something. So let's just go off of what the baby saying. The baby saying that they mess with each other. He came out with this. He said he wanted to wait for his album to come out before he made a response. Their friendship kind of went sour after the baby brought Tory Lanez out with him to perform. And it was also an old song that they had did together that Tory Lanez ended up putting out. And I think Meg was just really upset about both of those things because she thought like they were friends and he should be loyal. The baby should be loyal to Megan since Megan's got the issue with, with Tori and then saying that Tori shot her. And they kind of had like, Meg Thee Stallion and the baby had a little back and forth. Meg Thee Stallion's boyfriend, what you think? I can't think of dude's name right now, but a uh, 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 party. Party came out and, you know, was making threats to the baby. The baby kind of like, all right, don't get hurt over, it, uh, over here. So in the song that the baby made, He's pretty much talking about that some more. He's talking about how her boyfriend almost got hurt trying to come to her defense. And again, just he wanted to put this out for promotion for his, you know, he wanted to put this out for promotion for his project, for song, for the album, (laughs) you know. And I got to say, I know that there was those reports that he, that the baby canceled the show because he only sold like 500 tickets. I don't know if the baby's cold out here, but clearly he feels like he has to do something or, or say some things, reveal some information, or at least make alleg- allegations to drum up some interest in what he's doing. And I don't know. I, I like the baby. I think that he's dope. I thought he was, I thought the baby was one of those kind of talents that could go have a long career. Uh, I thought he has a, a sound that still that sounds good. It may sound the same all the time, but it's a good sound. But I don't know, apparently, at least it's looking like he getting cold out here, uh, starting to, and has to resort to these other tactics to stay relevant. I don't know. Uh, yeah, all right, the baby's still relevant now, but maybe he's thinking in the long term. Uh, yeah, but for whatever whatever made him do it. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with you. Don't got to call nobody out. Yeah, it's your story, but it's their story too. And if you're just trying to, like, what, what, what was he hoping to gain from that? Was he trying to embarrass her? You know, was he, you know, is he trying to make her look like a hoe? I don't know. But it just seems messy and unnecessary. The baby, you talented. Oh, you just focus on the music, and you don't got to get into the gossipy stuff. And you ain't got to get into it with Meg because it's like. Since that moment happened, she hasn't really said nothing about you. If y'all friendship is over, y'all friendship is over. But I would just let that go. It's not a good look for you, buddy. Uh, you know, and I rock with the baby, but it's not a good look for him to be over here, you know, telling. <laughs> telling on, you know, telling on Meg, telling on himself, you know, let people know the body count. Um, or let people know that he hit. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just... I don't think that the baby, I think he's a way better artist than that. I don't think that the baby needs that. I think the baby just needs to focus on making some good music, getting there with some good producers, uh, you know, get some good beats, try to get some good features, come up with some interesting concepts. And there you go, man. Uh, leave all that uh, extra stuff out of there. It's the Wet Gas Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me, yeah. Talk whack to me, talk whack it's to me. It's the whack ass podcast, yeah. Talk whack to me, talk whack to me, yeah. Talk whack to me, talk whack to me. Yeah.